A very good evening and welcome back to the Metropole Sports Center on Metropole TV, the first of its kind. That is a business, 24-hour business channel in Kenya and East Africa. Now, I've started by saying it's a business channel, so that means we're all about money. And in this particular segment, we're about money and sports. And this is a gentleman that we've had this conversation about money and sports for a very long time. So I'll introduce him. Uh, my guest today is Mr. Ronald Akoth, uh, striker for Sofa Parker, and of course... Uh, <laughs> Founder of Arrow Sports Management, uh, Ronald Karibusana, uh, Metropole Sports Center. Yeah, Santi. Uh, first question, yeah. Arrow Sports Management, what are you guys about? Oh, well, uh, and when did it start and what are you guys about? Well, we are, we are, we are almost uh, six months old. Mm -hmm. No, almost seven, seven, eight months old, mm -hmm. even though it's, a, it's an idea that I had some time back. Mm -hmm. But uh, it came of age at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically all about uh, managing players, mm -hmm. whereby we are managing athletes and we are trying to at least offer some uh, uh, services whereby we, uh, we help them in representing themselves, getting them sponsorship and endorsement deals, mm -hmm. trying to ensure that our athletes or our footballers go back to school. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe they get into some business ventures because, you know, again, the lifespan of an athlete is maybe when you start clocking 30 or maybe at most 35, mm -hmm. you, sh you should start thinking of life after football. Mm -hmm. So basically you're trying to ensure that our athletes have a smooth transition from uh, uh, the playing career into the life after football. Mm -hmm. So we are, we, we, are, we are all about managing our players and we are trying to offer some of the best services in the country currently. And I like, uh, I like what you've said because uh, it was just, I think this week or sometime last week, I was watching a documentary, different sport but the same field. Yeah. Uh, different sport, I mean basketball. And I was watching a documentary on Kevin Durant and his off-season yeah. and the number of things he has to do to manage his brand yeah. in terms of endorsement deals and everything. And that is what is going to keep him running yeah, true. after basketball. Yeah. Uh, I think the person who epitomizes this the most and the two people in football, of course, is David Beckham, who's yeah. still making a hell of a lot of money yeah, after exactly. retiring. Uh, in basketball, it's uh, Michael Jordan, who's gone into a billion dollars because of money he's generated off basketball. So I like what you're saying. The lifespan of an athlete is very short. It's very short. And that's why ideally in an ideal ecosystem, which I am hoping Kenya is going to become, <laughs> they are going to make a hell lot of money in their playing days. Yeah. And that's where Arrow Sports Management comes in and shows them, look, this is how you invest your money so that exactly. you, you don't run broke. So yeah. sports mentorship. Yeah. And um, we'll use examples both local and abroad. abroad. Uh, we've seen what sports mentorship has done to uh, very many people in the world. Yeah. And especially where sports is developed, where sports is actually a multi-billion dollar industry. I think about, I um, mean, football. Um, Brazil used to have a striker in the 90s called Romario. Yeah. And Romario went on to become a politician and is really championing for, for uh, the, 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 the people, the low in income people in Brazil. Yeah. You think about uh, basketball, and recently you see LeBron James, you know, talking about social issues in the states, and uh, because those are very serious issues in the states. Yeah, true. You think about boxing and Manny Pacquiao and what he's doing back home in Philippines. So, uh, sorry, I think the most important one for us, George Ware, you know, <laughs> president of Liberia. Yeah, you know, our own son. Uh, yeah, yeah, our own son, president yeah. of Liberia. So, what do you think is the role of sports in mentoring a person? And, and, and making him ready for life because his life as an athlete, as you're saying, is yeah. going to be short, 10, 15 years of his life. Sure. What role do you think sports plays in mentoring such a person? <laughs> Well, uh, that's a good question. I think uh, sports plays a very huge role in terms of mentorship because if you look at uh, in today's uh, sports industry, I think uh, most of the athletes are sports men and are sports women. They're playing a very huge role in terms of maybe trying to offer guidance, offer mentorship, offer some inspiration, and even trying to guide some of the young and upcoming athletes or maybe sports men and sports women or maybe the children into maybe trying to be some people f maybe, maybe let, let me say try to make the best out of their lives in, in, in future and it's so important uh, in terms of uh, maybe trying to use an approach whereby you try and uh, use the positive I, I call it the PYD the positive youth development mm -hmm. approach whereby we, we are trying to bring we are, we are trying to make uh, some of these guys you're mentoring to be to be looked at as, as a resource rather mm -hmm. than being looked at uh, as a problem to be fixed. Mm -hmm. And the earlier we start uh, maybe mentoring or maybe trying to guide them, 
while they're still young, the better. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, personally, on my personal, on a personal level, I think we, we, we are seeing it's something that is still new in, in our country. Mm -hmm. Even though many guys, uh, we, we are seeing academies, we are seeing some mentorship programs being introduced. And in the past, we had uh, uh, when Super Sport were around, mm -hmm. there, there were some children mentorship programs that mm -hmm. were around, whereby. Mm -hmm we had teams that were going to maybe some communities or maybe some parts of the parts in town, maybe Kibera, mm -hmm. maybe Kisumu, and then they were mentoring kids. But we, we, when they left the country, I think everything died down. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we, we've been trying to introduce it whereby every weekend we go to Kibera mm -hmm. and we're trying to do some mentorship and uh, some inspiration programs for the kids in, the, in Kibera. So sports, to me, I think it plays a very huge role because some of these kids, they look at us mm -hmm. as they are, they, they, they are heroes or maybe they're mentors. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the more we, we give them an opportunity to maybe engage with us, I think we, we, are, we are giving them an, a better opportunity to become better people in the future. Yeah. You're speaking my language because it, <laughs> it was this week I was, you know, when you think about sports and you think about the kind of things that sports does, yeah. and um, you think about, case in point, George Ware. Yeah. He's the president of Liberia. He is the head of state of a country. And actually the only African to have won the Ballon d'Or. Exactly, the only <laughs> African to have won the Ballon d'Or. Sure. Uh, this guy would not have had the opportunity to be where he is had it not been for football. football yeah. Had it not been for what he did at AC Milan and Chelsea. Exactly. He would not have had that chance. Yeah. I keep on telling guys that if you want to get some inspiration, you need to look at footballers, or rather you need to look at sports people and yeah. entertainment people. Entertainment. Because I can assure you as a sports person, there is no way you're going to be given a handout. Yeah. It's your discipline and it's your hard work. Yeah, true. And for very many of those people, like you're saying in Kibera, yeah. I'm sure there are very many guys who have an outing in sports. Exactly. Like sports is the one that gives, gives, yeah. them, gives them the outing. So, yeah, I mean, kudos on what well, you're saying. Now, we've seen that, and we see that on the global stage. Yeah. How do we do it back home? You've said PYD, of course. Yeah. Uh, other, other ways about how to do it back home. Well, I think uh, back, back here at home, we, we, we don't have any other way but to just, you know, follow suit at what's, what's happening in, uh, in other countries. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, I'm sorry to say, here we are still reluctant mm -hmm. in terms of maybe trying to support the young people. Mm -hmm. Because you find that uh, most guys, you know, they are so, uh, let me use the word selfish. Yes. You find that uh, some of our top talents, they don't want to share whatever they have mm -hmm. with, other, with other guys they don't have. So to me, it's all about maybe trying to just do what other guys have been doing. Mm -hmm. Let's put the programs in place, the structures in place, mm -hmm. so that at least we can uh, do, we can introduce some of these things into different parts of the town or mm -hmm. different parts of the country. Mm -hmm. So that in the long term, whatever we are trying to put in place, maybe trying to offer these mentorship programs and uh, uh, some of this, um, it can, it, it, not just in sports, mm -hmm. but also in academics, mm -hmm. because it's not just about sports at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, the earlier we do some of these things, uh, to me, I think the better. Ronald, um, it's a discussion we've had with you off yeah. air about commercialization of sports. Yeah. Do you think that is one of the ways to fix this problem? Because you see, uh, and, and I'm going back, piggybacking on what you're saying about academics. Um, many sports, I don't know about uh, football, I can't say categorically about football in yeah. the West, but I know like in basketball, in NFL, you are given days where you're taught about life after sports, sports. skills. Yeah. Uh, I know in the NBA, back in the days, they used to be very insistent about somebody going to college yeah. uh, before you actually play in the NBA yeah. or somebody finishing their degree. Yeah. Um, now, if we commercialize sports, chances are that money comes into, the, into play. Yeah. Do you think then commercialization of sports is one of the way, or to look at sports as a business is one of the way to, um, to, to, to realize what we're talking about in terms of mentoring young ones in Kenya? Yeah, to me, it's one of the way, even though my only problem is, are we really ready to commercialize our sports, especially back here at home? Mm -hmm. Because you look, you find that many investors, they're not ready to, you know, mm -hmm. to venture to sports. Mm -hmm. I think you know the story <laughs> 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 You're being passionate about rugby. Yeah. yeah, so to me, it's about maybe the guys we're putting in place to run mm -hmm. our sports. Are they really ac accountable? Are they really, you know, honest mm -hmm. people who mm -hmm. can be trusted to run our sports? Mm -hmm. that's, that's when we 
you'll see some of, some of these corporates coming on board mm -hmm. to try and uh, commercialize our game and mm -hmm. to help us become even more professional. Mm -hmm. So the back starts with some of us. Mm -hmm. I mean, we must clean our house first mm -hmm. so that some of these things can take place. Yeah. yeah. I like the fact that you say that back stops with us. We yeah. must clean our house first. Yeah. That's the only way corporate Kenya is going to come. That's the only way. That's the only way they're going to get involved yeah. in sports. It's when us guys get our house in order. Exactly. Ronaldo Koth, thank you very much for gracing our um, show this evening. Uh, we wish you all the best in Arrow Sports Management. I, it's a brilliant idea and I think uh, if executed well, which you're doing, then many of our athletes can be able to utilize the money that they're making in their short playing careers. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much, Ronald. Thanks, man. You've had it from, you've had it, sorry, from Ronald Koth, who, by the way, is an athlete in himself, striker for Sofa Parker and founder of RO Sports Management, an entity that looks to manage our athletes and make sure our athletes make something worth of the money that they make when they are playing the game. We take a short break. When you get back, it's going to be Nahashi Nawano with Money Ref.